Game of Thrones is back and fuck everything. Nothing else matters. Y'all know what day it is. I don't even have to tell you, okay? I forgot to get wine because I'm a loser. And today is Sunday, and I can't buy wine here on Sunday. So, y'all remember this? Strawberry moonshine, full throttle. Um, now, there's not, there's a bit left, uh, but this stuff is super strong. So, You also have to be super strong to open it. Oh God, I hope this works. You might be disappointed in the results. I've, I'm doing a different setup. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna hate myself tomorrow when this fucks up. Okay, it's coming. Winter is here, bitches. Game of Thrones season eight, episode one. Let's go. Look at the wall's got a giant fucking hole in it. <laughs> oh, is the blue like representative of winter or the, the walkers like coming in? White walkers. Oh, the opening titles are totally different. And there's the throne. We saw in the previews this was in the I mean in the, the the trailer this was in the trailer this is really reminiscent of the first episode of Game of Thrones when Arya was like climbing up to see the convoy coming in or whatever there he is oh and she's glad to see him ain't she Oh, this is going to be a reunion and I can't get my shit open. Fuck. Okay, well then you drink when there's a reunion because I can't. Look at them all lined up like that, like they were in the in the pilot episode. That's so cool. There's no sense in the castles anymore. We make us down here. Want your grace. Your grace. Uh oh. You left Winterfell a king and came back a. Careful. I'm not sure what you are now. He risked his life to show us the threat is real. Thanks to his courage, we have brought with us the greatest army the world has ever seen. We have brought two full grown dragons. What do dragons eat, anyway? Whatever they want. <laughs> Smart ass. Cersei told you her army was coming north to fight for you. She did. And you believed her. There's something to live for now. I believe she wants to survive. I used to think you were the cleverest man alive. <laughs> What, since like episode one? How long have been waiting for this? You still love it. Hell yeah, still got it. Needle. Have you ever used it? <laughs> Once or twice. <laughs> Hold it. Sansa thinks she's smaller than everyone. She's the smartest person I've ever met. 
Who are you defending? <laughs> you. I'm defending our family. So is she. I'm her family too. Don't forget that. Hmm. Hmm. She has a keen sense of poetic justice. That fucking family. What does she do for the man who rids her of her treasonous brothers? Isn't that the crossbow that Tyrion used to kill Tywin? Or am I just... I wanted those elephants. Damn, she didn't get her elephant. Oh, she looks really sad. I don't know what that means. Oh! Ooh! Oh, damn! Theon! We just came out of nowhere, didn't he? You want to go to Winterfell to fight for the Starks? What is dead may never die. They kill the bastards anyway. <laughs> yeah. Can you actually, can you scoot over just a, a, huh? a smidge? No, I sit in the middle. Are they sad because their brother died? What's wrong with them? They don't like the north. Oh. Go on. Hop on. What if he doesn't want me to? Then I've enjoyed your company, Jon Snow. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I ship. I ship hard. Come in. The king in the north. I told you we needed allies. You didn't tell me you were going to abandon your crown. I never wanted a crown. All I wanted was to protect the north. I brought two armies home with me. Two dragons. And a Targaryen queen. And? We can beat the army of the dead without her. I fought them, Sansa. Twice. You want to worry about who holds what title? I'm telling you, it doesn't matter. Without her, we don't stand a chance. Is that Sam? <clears throat> oh. Yes. So you're the man. Um, which man am I? Who cares? The one who saved Sir Jorah when no one else could. They could. They just wouldn't. It's my honor to serve you, Your Grace. Well, there must be something I could give you. If he's not too much trouble, I could use a pardon. I love him. For what crime? For a sword. From the sister? From my family. You know him? He doesn't know. I offered to let him retain his lands and titles if he bent the knee. He refused. I mean, his father's a dickhole, though, right? I'm sorry. No, I'm not supposed to be down here. Oh. Are you hiding from me? Of course not. I bent the knee. I'm not king in the north anymore. I'm not talking about the king in the north. I'm talking about the king of the bloody seven kingdoms.
Your mother was Leanna Stark. And your father, your real father, was Rhaegar Targaryen. Oh my god! You've never been a bastard. You are Egon Targaryen, true heir to the Iron Throne. Ned Stark, he promised your mother he'd always protect you. Yeah. And he did. Robert would have murdered you if he knew. You're the true king. Father Targaryen, you sit in his name, protect from the realm, all of him. Oh, Jamie, we have not seen you yet. <gasps> he said he was waiting for an old friend. I need more information. so many reunions oh I, I probably would have been drunk if I would have been able to get this thing open I'm still trying John is back in Winterfell with all of his brothers and sisters well the ones who are still alive of course John knows who he is now that he's Aegon Targaryen by the way Lyanna standing her standing in the background there that was really symbolic and very cool um, while he was telling John who he really was. Um, so we got the Golden Company rolled into uh, King's Landing with Euron. And I'm not really sure what that means yet because I don't know anything about them. We got Strickland, who's a new character. My favorite thing about this whole episode is seeing everybody come together and have scenes together. It's been, you know, since season one, some of them since episode one, since they've had, since they've even spoken to each other. So it's, it's pretty cool. Um, I felt all warm and sad when Arya and Jon reconnected. Because that, that's literally been since episode one that they have seen each other. I saw a lot of little callbacks in this episode. Like one of the very first things that I noticed was the little boy was running and he's like climbing up trees to get a good look at the, the queen coming in. Um, and that's very reminiscent of what happened with Arya in the very first episode. And the episode ended with Jamie and Bran at the end, kind of looking at each other, and I don't know what was going through Bran's mind. Um, we de we know that Bran is a different person now. He's not like he used to be, and I don't know. I'm so curious what he's going to say to Jamie, and what Jamie is going to say to him. I just need to hear this conversation immediately. Oh, John flying on the dragon. I mean, I said, if John rode a dragon, I was going to shit. I didn't shit, but I got very, very happy about it. I love that. I love it. I don't know why. He um, looked pretty scared there for a while, which I don't blame him at all, but then he like took the ramp, like he was really guiding that that dragon. And then, where does he go? A fucking cave. Cave date. John and fucking cave dates. Um, how do you talk about the episode right after it goes off. I mean, I feel like I need to think about some things that happened and then maybe I can talk about it. I don't know. I think I touched on a lot of the important things and, um, you know, as we get deeper into the season, I'll talk a little bit more about what's going on, but right now I'm just so fucking excited. Let me just toss in that the, uh, the opening credits, the intro is fucking awesome. 
I love the new intro. Okay, that's it. I'm going to go try to get this video put together for you guys so you'll have something to watch. Um, and then I have an unboxing to do, so that's coming. And, all right, um, that was amazing. I'm super, super happy with the first episode. I think they did wonderful. Um, okay, that's it. I'm going to go fix this video up really quick. It's probably going to be really fucking weird because this is my first live solo reaction and I, I, I don't know how I did. I just hope that the sound picked up. I said the metal! Thank you guys for joining me for this first live solo reaction that I've ever done. I hope I did good. And uh, full reaction will be on Patreon. Little reaction will be on YouTube. The little one. Um, and we'll see you next time. Okay? Alright. Bye!